This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and I am getting ready to change out the audio video system in my Airstream. Airstream song, Airstream song, cruising to the campsite singing our song. Airstream song, Airstream song, we are Airstream Nerds. Those of you that have followed our channel for a while know that we've already added a Bose Solo 5 and a, and a larger screen in the uh, living room area. And I've also moved the original TV from the living room area into the bedroom and added a Bose Solo 5 in there as well. I really like the way these things sound. Um, so I'm going to finish the project. Uh, I'm going to remove this along with the speakers that are in the overheads. I'm gonna pull out this, the, the wooden unit that's in the cabinet. I'm going to add a RF remote control system in here. I'm going to add a matrix HDMI switcher. I'm going to move the Apple TV that I installed behind the TVs. I'm gonna pull both of those off of these TVs. I'm gonna put one in here with the matrix switch. And um, I'm going to add a Raspberry Pi media center player with a couple of USB ports and HDMI um, ports inside the cabinet here so when we're on the road and it's raining or any other time we can go ahead and watch our uh, entertainment system inside take this box out you take out these little um, snap-in covers for the screws for these two screws and the screw here I'm gonna pull those screws out Be right back. So once you take the screws out this whole little shelf can separate from here. <clears throat> now, you have some cables that loop down through this grommet and come out the side here, along with the um, USB ports and the, probably the power cable and the and the HDMI cable that go to the Blu-ray player. There may be the splitter. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing kind of flipped out and see what's underneath. All right, so when I get the box out, you can see we have the back of the Blu-ray player. One cable is the power cord. The other cable, cable is the HDMI, the, the short little HDMI cable. And the other cable is the power lead for the dual USB port. Now, if you look in the cabinet, you've got the spot where the um, HDMI splitter, now this is the HDMI splitter in my unit. This will get replaced um, with a matrix splitter, which I'll show you when I start the reinstall. I haven't really decided where anything is gonna be installed. Um, there is the cable for the satellite that is up there. Now, if you went ahead and you bought a DirecTV or a dish, um, portable dish, or, or you wanted to put one on the roof, this is the cable that goes to the outside, um, connection. So you'd put a, a multi-switch or something on this inside of this cabinet or on top or whatever, um, and take care of it that way. These are the two HDMI cables going to the back TVs, uh, or to the two TVs. Um, they are the identical, um, looks like they're the same brand of cable, but the ends are different. So I, I could put my tester on these, but I'll probably just be able to look at the colors of the two cables and know which one goes to which TV, and I will label these wires when I get to that point. Um, also in here is the USB connection for the stereo, which is getting removed. There's also two power cables that are back there. Um, one of these was plugged into the USB ports on the, on the case. The other one, however, is labeled um, HDMI switch. 
So I don't know if they originally had a plan to hardwire the USB um, for the cable um, for the splitter. I'm going to look into this power and see if I can use this when I power my stuff back up. Now the rest of the stuff that's back in this hole is, as you can see, a mess. And I'll get some light in there in a minute and we'll see what's in there. But once this head unit is pulled out and all the speakers are pulled out, I should have a nice little area back there. I can put my matrix switch, um, some other things, um, and utilize this little bit of extra space. Part of this project is pulling these speakers out and putting blanks up here. Um, so this is a tool that I get with, uh, since I'm in the AV industry, I get um, with some speaker brands that I buy, come with these speaker grill pullers. You can make the same thing out of a paper clip. Now this is designed to fit in the holes and be able to pull the cover down without damage it. Some people can put a piece of a screwdriver up here, but most of the time when you use those types of things, you end up denting the speaker bracket or, you know, putting a, a mark on it. So I'm going to pull the speaker bracket off and underneath it here, you will see, you know, the speaker screws that are in here. I'm going to pull those screws out and the speaker should come right out. So as you can see, I have the speaker out. Um, very simple. There's just two leads on the back. Um, the wires just um, slide onto the leads and that's how they're attached. They easily come out. You can see that there is a spider's nest of cables. Now this is in your Airstream, but it is a standard like car stereo type deal. So there is a wiring harness back here with a ton of wires. Now all of these wires and all of this crap that's in here um, is probably going to almost all come out. So let me go ahead and pull this cover off and we'll pull the head unit out. Okay, the first step to remove the head unit. It's pretty simple. Carefully slide a screwdriver behind the cover and pop the plastic trim ring off. Um, put that to the side. Now, there should be some metal keys. Um, here's the manual page. They're just little flat pieces of metal that slide into um, these groove right, grooves right here that release it from the metal insert. Now, I just went through all my paperwork and all the pieces that came with the Airstream, and my unit didn't come with these. But if you use a small screwdriver or something, a small piece of metal, and slide it in there, it will. it's just a little metal hook. I'll show you it later. I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out, and, um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so a small tweaker slid in there. You can feel when it clicks loose. Um, a small tweaker little screwdriver slides in there and fits nice. Um, and I'm just gonna reach in here and just push from behind and pull this whole thing out. Now don't be upset if the sleeve comes out with it because you're removing everything with it anyway. Um, just be careful, don't um, scratch up your wood. We're talking about this little thing. This little hook catches on the side in one of those holes there. And all you're really doing is pushing the shoe driver in until it hits it and pulls it loose and just allows you to unsnap it and pull it out. Um, the rest of the cables in the back, you really don't need to keep track of. Um, I unplug the harness. The harness that's right there, that white plug. I disconnected whatever cables were pulled in, were, were connected to this, and I, I pulled the um, USB extender out. And with mine, the whole um, mounting bracket came out with it. So I'm gonna put this to the side, and I'm gonna start pulling these cables, figuring out where they go, and disconnecting them. Okay, so I've started sorting this wire out. <clears throat> One of the things that I can remove are these um, noise suppressors that they put on here for the audio connection from the displays um, back to the stereo system. Um, when I did my TVs, since I've got the speakers um, 
uh, installed right by the TVs, I didn't um, reuse those cables. So I don't want to cut them off because you never know down the road if I could use them for something. Um, but I'm not going to ball these back up and stick them back up in there. So I'm just going to untape them and remove them. I've already removed one. Um, it's just RCA pass through on both ends. So they basically unplug. Um, so I'm going to take these, put them aside. Um, I've sorted out um, some of this wiring up here. They've got it. They've got power mixed up with signal. So I'm going to unt untape some of these tape joints and straighten up the cable, coil it up, and put it back up in here a little neatly. Um, I'm going to put a nice little cubby hole in here for, for stuff. Um, I think that'll work out nice. Um, as you can see, I've already taken out the speaker. I'm going to find a cover that I can use as a blank for here and maybe paint it. Um, it depends on the, the cover that I can find. All right, so part one of my AV upgrade is complete. I've taken everything apart. I put all the wires out. Um, I've taken all the hardware out that we're not using. Um, I've pulled the Blu-ray box out of here. Um, I've got the HDMI wires fed out to where we're going to reuse. All the wires we're not reusing is, are, are tucked away nicely back in here. Um, please hit the like button below. Subscribe so you'll know when the next part comes out. This is Jeff from Mercy Nerds, and I'll see you on the next trailer.